What's up my shuggies? Ashley here and in today's video I have a massive Amazon haul and I am so excited because it literally includes everything. Fashion, home products, organization products, everything you need that is amazing, even a few tech items. So if you're into YouTube, vlogging, photography, anything like that, I have some really good things that I have purchased recently that I am so excited to share with you guys. So if you are interested in seeing this massive Amazon haul, then just keep watching. All right, you guys, before we get into the video, I am going to go over my dossier perfumes for the month of March. As you guys know, I have been getting these and loving them. I love the simplicity of ordering them. I also love how much more affordable they are than some of the high-end versions. The first one out of the two for this month is going to be Aromatic Watermelon, and this is going to be inspired by Ralph Lauren Polo Blue. So if you love that and you use that, then this is a really good alternative for you. I always talk about my most favorite part of this and it is the component. I love how high-end and luxurious it feels with that magnetic cap on there. That is just a really nice feature to this and I am going to go over the scent. And this one smells really fresh, really clean, a hint of sweetness. It almost has like a hint of the Aqua de Gio in it, that like clean, fresh smell a little tiny bit powdery. It's just a really nice clean scent. So if you are into, like I said, the Ralph Lauren, which it's inspired by the Polo Blue, then this would be a perfect one for you. I definitely feel like this would go both male and female. It's kind of a down the middle, definitely not musky, definitely more aromatic as it says in the name and really, really beautiful scent. Next up we have Fruity Almond, and this name sounds so phenomenal. This one is inspired by Carolina Herrera, Good Girl. So if that is something you use perfume-wise, then you will definitely love this. I'm really excited because I feel like you really can't go wrong with Fruity or Almond. <laughs> this is really nice as well. Definitely smells expensive. It definitely smells fruity, but very fruity and light, but has a hint of that almost Chanel smell to it. If you are familiar with Chanel perfumes, how they have that really nice, just classy, luxurious scent to them. It, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of fruity and sweet with a hint of Burberry. If you used to wear Burberry back in the day, that to me is what this smells like. That's the only thing I can think of that I can compare it to, but it really has a beautiful like Burberry Chanel scent with a lot of fruitiness and lightness to it. This is really nice. I would say this is my favorite out of the two. They're both really beautiful, but if you're going to go with something that's really nice and I would say sleek, like a Tiffany's Burberry type scent, then I would definitely go with this Fruity Almond. It is absolutely beautiful. And of course, as always, I will link both of these as well as all of the information for Dossier below in the description box for you guys. All right, you guys, we are starting off in the pantry and I am so excited to show you guys these amazing Ziploc organizers. I have been searching for the longest time for a way to organize my Ziploc bags that wasn't in the typical wood tone that you see. That really was something I did not want. And I stumbled upon these acrylic magnetic organizers for all of your Ziploc needs. These are the most perfect quintessential organizers. As you can see, you just literally pop the top off because it's magnetic. You stick whatever Ziploc uh, sizes you want inside. You pop the top back on and they are also labeled. Now I don't have quart and snack size. I actually just put the I'm sorry, I don't have sandwich and snack size. I actually just put quart in all of them because I get my Ziploc bags from Costco and so they come with quart and gallon and they literally fit perfect. I store them on this little organizer set that I got recently from Costco. If you guys have a Costco, you need to go find it. 
This is the gallon size, and as you can see, it has the perfect opening. You just pull your bags out, and you're good to go. And again, that same magnetic closure that I love. You can stack them. You can separate them. That's another thing that I saw one super similar to this, but it was actually one big square, so you could not separate it. And I don't know if I'm going to leave them like this, put them in a drawer. I want to have the flexibility to be able to organize this however I want it, and I can only do that so long as they're separate. So I love that about this super convenient a little bit on the expensive side but again it's an investment you get it once and then you're done and don't have to worry about it anymore so if you're interested in something super aesthetically pleasing and simplistic to store your quart snack sandwich and gallon size bags then definitely check this out. It is my favorite. Now I also did go ahead and order the same for the aluminum foil saran wrap and parchment and I'm super excited to get that. It's almost the same exact thing except of course it supports them. So as soon as I get that I will update you guys so this whole little area can be clear, simplistic, and serves its purpose to organize all of my stuff. I will also see if I can link something similar to this. They come in a pack, I believe, of four for like 17 bucks, so super affordable. If you're looking to have some really nice, affordable shelves in your pantry or just to organize in your kitchen. Next, we're gonna talk tech for a second. So if you guys do YouTube, if you film, do photography, anything like that. I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I've recently gotten and something that I really love that I wanted to share with you guys in the kind of tech world. This first one, I actually own two of these. They are the best, most affordable small tripod on the market. I love the textured grip. It comes in white and then the other one, which is black and red. And I actually utilize the black and red one upstairs for my main filming area. And it's perfect because it has the attachment right here, which works perfect for my shotgun mic. I just screw it on top and I can of course adjust the height on this as well as pop it out into a tripod. So this works really well if you want a short tripod or something really mobile if you are vlogging, filming, anything like that. It does have this adjustable round piece that sits inside of it uh, like a socket so that if you wanted to point the camera down and change the angle, you can do that. You can tighten it on the right hand side and leave it there or you can leave it a little bit more fluid so I really love this it's a great bang for your buck and again comes in those two colors this one is going to be more of a taller tripod but again has that nice top that I can just screw on my camera if I am doing something stationary and trying to film and I have the mobility that it's not going to be too big and clunky but it's going to give me the height that I need this one again very affordable and really really well made it's super sturdy and had really great reviews so if you're looking to do some diy projects and you need a more stationary simplistic skinny tripod that's not going to take up too much room i would definitely recommend this as you can see right here all three of those clips make it taller and more adjustable and the same attachment here on top that you can just screw in and adjust any microphone, you can use this for microphone or camera on the base here. Moving on to the third one, this is going to be for your phone if you use your phone to film. And I actually got this because it's not only small and portable, but it actually is a stabilizer as well. So as you can see, you can tighten the phone so it doesn't move around as much, but it's really nice if you are using your phone to film. You maybe don't have a camera yet or haven't invested in one. This is a really great option for you. As you can see, again, like I said, it closes really nice and and compact so if you are looking to find one that is really nice and sleek this is a great option for you this part does extend so you are able to make it taller as well so everything you need pretty much in one tripod and then of course it does come with a charger so you are able to charge and turn it on to activate that stabilizer effect a little bit more on the expensive side, but again, an investment, especially if you don't have a camera and you are currently using your phone to film, this will make it that much better quality because it does have that built-in stabilizer as well. Moving on to something that I absolutely love. I have had this forever, and this is going to be, if you are a Tanavi couch owner or you have clothes that pill, you have issues with things that pill, maybe your couch isn't Tanavi and maybe it's not from Ashley Furniture, but you do have a little bit of issue, I would definitely recommend this as you can see it's already full I was doing some clothes as well as the couch very easy to empty you just push this button down here and it's going to release this 
clear pocket, you pull it out, throw everything in the trash. I know a lot of people have commented they had my couch and they didn't want to put any sort of throws down over top of it. So it can unfortunately pill. I haven't had a lot of that just because I'm pretty diligent about putting my throw blankets down. But if that's something you don't wanna do because you have guests over all the time or you just don't wanna have them on and it does start to pill, this definitely will help. I would definitely recommend talking to Ashley first, but I'm just telling you what I use on mine, and so far it has worked perfectly well. Again, even if you're just gonna use this for clothes, sometimes my Lululemon leggings, if I wash them a lot, do have some pilling. This is really great for that as well. Very affordable, I believe it's around $19. Rechargeable, I actually haven't had to recharge it yet, so it holds the charge really, really well as well. I know there are a ton of options out there, but this one is my favorite so far. Next, I wanna to talk to you guys about some organizations, specifically acrylic clear organization. If you are into having your stuff displayed or stored away on your vanity, this is something that I recently got that I absolutely love. I previously had a black, again, double riser, except it was round and I like it, but I really just wanted to try the clear and I really love this. It's really good quality, super easy to put together and makes everything look so sleek and pretty. I love how it is more rectangular, so it's not going to take up too much room this way, whereas the other one was round and did take up a little bit more room. It stores everything that I have for skincare and perfumes perfectly, including my mouthwash dispenser, which is the perfect size. I will link this one. It is from Bed Bath & Beyond and it is absolutely amazing. So if you have any questions in regard to that, let me know if I forget to link it. But this is really nice, really sleek, super easy, like I said, to put together and could be used in so many different ways. If you wanted something to just store perfume on, maybe some jewelry, this is an amazing double riser. They are so hard to find. You would think they would be super easy to find, but it really took me a long time to get the exact one that I wanted. So I will link this exact one below for you because I know sometimes on Amazon, things come in and out of stock depending on the seller. Next, I wanted to go over my under the sink organization. I have found so many good items, especially if you have recently purchased the Dyson Airwrap. This is the quintessential storage unit to have. There are, again, a ton out there, but this is the best combination I have found yet. It is this beautiful organizer. It has this clear shelf in the front that actually has holes on the side. So this is perfect if you wanted to put a curling iron or something long and it could stick out on the side here, or if you just wanted to put brushes in there and they stick out, whatever the case may be. I just put all of my attachments to my Dyson Airwrap. And then of course the Dyson Airwrap itself, which again, so genius because it has these removable metal cups inside. So that way you don't have to worry about heat issues. And then I did put my other GHD products in there as well. These two clear bins I love because of the height of them. I don't have to worry about anything falling down. These specifically are from Target and I can link these below for you as well as the bigger size, which this is considered the large size of this. And I put all of my brushes and extra stuff in the back. I know it's probably hard for you to see, but I just store all of my brushes and then my simple blow dryer back there in case I want to use my diffuser and curl my hair. So this is a really nice setup if you guys, again, just have a ton of hair wands, hair straighteners, curlers, anything like that, or the, the Dyson. You could put, like I said, anything in the front here, but it really keeps everything organized. It looks nice and sleek and high end with the simplicity of the containers. Now, moving on to this side, I did get this white riser. This is a two tiered riser and it does come in a three tiered. So if you want something taller, I just did not have the room up top because of my cabinet. So I got the two tier riser. I put my face brush on here, this little cup full of a couple of different things, uh, brushes, anything like that. My jewelry cleaner and then some perfumes on there. And then the next level, I did use my home edit organization kit to organize some of my face wipes and then this little organization to organize some various hair clips. And then I did get the two drawer system, except I did get the taller one for my hair ties, hair barrettes, anything scrunchies, um, because I did want the extra height since I do have a ton of them and then any of my personal products in the next shelf. But these are amazing. I actually have them in my kitchen as well. The only difference between the two sizes, which I will show you, 
They are the same width and the same depth. The only difference is the height. So this height is the bigger one. And as you can see, you really can store a ton of stuff in here and they are stackable. So if you have more room, I actually could fit a third one on top of here if I wanted to. And then they also have a slimmer one that if I wanted to do um, two more across here, then it would fit perfectly across on top of that. So lots of options for clear drawers. I love these in specific and I'll link them for you. And this too, I feel like there's kind of the color combination goes really well together. So everything is usable because you can see it and then organized. And the best part is it comes super fast because you have that Amazon shipping. So I will also link for you my home edit line, which is my favorite from Target. And this one comes with a ton and I've used them all around the house to organize all of my goodies such as these. So I will link all of this in the description box below for you guys. I also wanted to share this lighting with you. It is so amazing and I found it on Amazon and it is a two-tone light that comes in so many different sizes but I love how luxe and high-end this looks. I am in the process of doing some small updates in my master bath and I wanted to share this with you guys in case you are looking for an affordable light in your bathroom. Any sort of vanity this is really really nice and high-end looking. I actually have the three light and the four light. Um, um, I have the three light in a different bathroom, but I love the tone of the gold with the light bulbs. I just feel like it looks so nice and luxurious and is super affordable. So if you are looking for something that is easy to install, a super easy DIY, then I would definitely recommend this for you. I've gotten, I think a total of three of them now, and I'm probably going to get a fourth just because I feel like it has made such a big difference in all of the bathrooms as far as making them look not builder grade, but a little bit more custom. And I'll show you kind of an overview of the entire vanity. So I changed the mirror, these are from Home Goods, and I did change that light, and then I added this towel holder, made that little faux plant in the corner, and then of course that clear acrylic riser. So as you can see, I've also changed the faucet, which was a very easy fix as well. So it's kind of just given this a little bit of an updated look, and I love the way that it turned out. So I, of course, will link that light as well in the description box below for you guys. Okay, the first thing I wanted to talk about fashion-wise are these shorts. They are absolutely amazing, super buttery soft, and definitely a dupe for the Lululemon short. Now, I will say these are phenomenally high-rised. If you are into a super high-rise, you will absolutely love these. My belly button is here, so they definitely are far above. They're really nice and thin, and the best part is I love how thin the band is at the top. That is one of my biggest pet peeves, that when you get any sort of knockoff short, that this is really Really thick and I just feel like it always cuts into um, my side or my stomach and it's just not comfortable because of how thick that end of the band is. So these are super thin just like the Lululemon one and again they have that same stitching right above the stomach area that goes down a little bit in the front and the length on these is amazing as well. They're short, they're not too short and a little bit adjustable because they're not tight on the thighs. That's something else I know is a huge complaint and concern from people when it comes to finding shorts like this, but these are phenomenal. The only downside to them is that they don't come in a bunch of size options. So I did get the large extra large just because I was worried about them being too big and they fit perfect. So if you are are like a four to six, then I would definitely get the large extra large unless you want them super duper tight. I wanted them super comfortable. They are, like I said, buttery soft and literally feel like you have nothing on comfort wise. They are a 10 out of 10. I would definitely recommend getting them. I did want to note that the other colors, however, are not completely accurate in my opinion. I feel like they're a little bit on the washed out side. So I just went ahead for the simple black. Um, I do know they have a couple of color combinations on the website, but I just like to go with what I know. And I got, of course, took the risk and got the ones that were colored and did not like them. They were a pale pink, gray, and black, so I just exchanged them for the all black, and they're perfect. So let's move on to the next fashion product. Next up are these high-waisted running shorts. They got so many good reviews. I had to try them, and I will say I am not disappointed at all. They're the most 
buttery, soft, comfortable, and not tight in the waist. I did size up in mine because I didn't want them to be too short or too tight. I wanted them to be super comfortable. And these are amazing. They're a little bit longer in the back than they are in the front. And they do have zip pockets on the side. So if you're running and wanted to put something small in there, you totally could do that. Again, they do have that spandex waist and they're not super duper high waisted. As you can see, they hit right at the top of my belly button. So when people say that the things are high waisted, everyone's idea of high waisted is different. So again, I'm totally okay with how high waisted these are, but they're not going to be anywhere near how high waisted the other spandex shorts are they're definitely going to be a little bit lower i will also say that i did order the orange red color and they definitely are not the same size at all i'd probably have to get an extra large in order for them to be comfortable so i just went ahead and returned them and kept the black but i do love these they are lined they have the um, underwear inside so if you are a runner or you just want these to work out in or run errands in they're amazing they're comfortable and they're super affordable i will definitely link them below for you guys and they're definitely one of my new fave sources for workout clothes now this next item is definitely for my shacket lovers you guys i have been looking for a free people dupe and i have found one it is so good and literally looks just like it i love all of the detailing on the side here it's kind of got a layered effect the color is perfection it's a beautiful camel color and then there's also that texture to it that square waffled texture as you can see here it's got both of the pockets that are not fully functional but they do have a flap on them you could wear this open you could wear it buttoned up i will show you i did get a large because i'm gonna wear it um opened up not buttoned with something underneath it and then maybe a half tuck but i wanted to show you what it looked like it's definitely nice and long it has that paneling on the side the large to me is perfect so if you are normally a small medium i would definitely size up and get the large that way you don't have to worry about it shrinking or being too small so as you can see it's a great length it's not too wide sometimes when i size up on things to have them be a little bit more oversized they're really really wide and this is not the case with this i can wear it buttoned if i want to wear it buttoned or leave it unbuttoned and be perfectly fine again comes in a ton of colors so if you are interested in a nice lightweight free people dupe then definitely check this out you will not be disappointed i have done all of the due diligence so you guys don't have to when it comes to these fashion products so let me know if you guys have got one and how much you love it in the comments below all right next guys we are going to talk about an organizational find that i got i love stacking my sets together so i was able to score these little plastic hooks that hook on top of your hanger and keeps everything together in unison i absolutely love these they come in a couple of different color options some pastel pinks and blues clear and then of course the black but since i have the black velvet hangers i thought that would be a perfect match so if you are into organizing or you have sets of clothes that you want to keep together like i have a whole section of sets i like to keep together these would be perfect for you i will show you right here it literally comes in i don't even know what this is a pack of it says right there on the package it's a pack of 50. so one package will be plenty for someone's probably entire closet i can't imagine needing more than this and super duper affordable this is a random find but so necessary when it comes to organizing your closet last but not least again totally random but in the fashion realm this handle accessory i found i'm so glad that i waited and got the right company because there were a couple of different reviews on other brands that did not match so if you have the neo Noé bag from louis vuitton or any sort of bag you want to add a handle to this one is perfect the metals match perfectly as you can see here and it actually did come with some extenders so if you wanted to make it even longer you could do that as well i love the braided detail that it gives and i actually use it so much because the strap sometimes it's a little bit cumbersome and in the way so i like to have the option and the flexibility to be able to carry it on my arm or even fit it over my shoulder with the extenders on this and it works perfectly it matches perfectly and the quality is amazing I don't know if it is 100% genuine leather. They say that it is, but so far so good. I haven't had any issues, any problems, any unraveling, anything like that. So as you can see, this is perfect for the new and away. If you have it, I will link the exact seller that I used below because I think that that really does matter when it comes to getting these from certain companies on Amazon. So I will of course link it in the description box below. 
right, you guys, that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I will link everything in the description box down below. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.